What is up everybody? This is the Wrestling Fan 410. Back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing my WWE Night of Champions 2012 predictions video. So yeah, let's start this off with the pre-show. It will be a jobber battle royal to find out who will be the number one contender for the for the Intercontinental Championship, I mean, sorry, for the U.S. Championship later on that night. And, um, I could see two people winning. Either Santino Morella or Brodus Clay. So I'm gonna go with Santino. Yeah, that's about it. Um, start this off with the United States title match. Uh, and, uh, Antonio Cesaro versus whoever he's facing. Honestly, I don't see Antonio Cesaro dropping the title already. Uh, so yeah, Antonio Cesaro to get the win. Next match, um, we'll go with the tag team match. Uh, for the tag team titles, um, Air Jimmy or whatever they're calling themselves, R-Truth and Kofi Kingston versus Daniel Bryan and Kane. I definitely see Daniel Bryan and Kane getting the win here just because of how the tag team looks. I really like what they're doing with them right now. Building up like how they hate each other and then we know that at the end it, they're probably going to be friends or whatever. I like what they're doing with them though. I find it's entertaining. I find it's the um, one of the easiest things to sit through. Uh, on Raw and stuff, so I hope they get the win. Our truth and Kofi Kingston have held the title for way too long, and I'm honestly sick of them. So Kingston, I mean uh, Kane and Bryan to get the win. Next match, a match that hasn't even been announced yet. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship match. Um, the Miz versus, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be versus Cody Rose the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense. So, I'm going to go with The Miz to win this. Just because it's not going to be announced till like, tonight or tomorrow or the day of the show on Sunday. So, I just really don't see Miz winning. I think this is going to be the start of his face turn, and I think they want him to hold a title well on the face turn. So, yeah. Next, the Divas Championship match. Layla versus Caitlyn. There's no way Caitlyn's going to win. It was a botch. She wasn't even supposed to win this match. I mean, be in this match. So, yeah. Layla to get the win. I could see Layla sort of maybe turning heel and then facing uh, face Eve at the next pay-per-view. I'm not sure, though. Um, next match. Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio for the World Heavyweight Championship match. I guess the bro kick is still banned, um, but yeah, why would Del Rio win now? Honestly, I don't see Del Rio winning. He doesn't have momentum going into this. They could have gave him momentum without the bro kick, but no, because they gave Sheamus that submission hold now. So now Sheamus is going to win by that submission. So hopefully this will be the last match they have, and then it will start... Barrett versus Sheamus. I'd love to see that. But I have a feeling it's going to go to Hell in the Cell. Just the fact that it's been going since... Uh, this feud has been going since Money in the Bank, I believe. So, well, actually, it was supposed to be starting at No Way Out. But then something happened with Del Rio. So, yeah. Anyways. And then the main event. The match. Probably the only match I'm looking forward to. Uh, and that is CM Punk versus John Cena. And this one can go either way just because of um, the way they're building this and stuff. It can go either way in my opinion. So my take is going to, uh, my pick is going to be John Cena just because it's his hometown and he hasn't held the title all year. Yeah. He hasn't held the title since vengeance no no he hasn't held the title since night of champions and then didn't he lose at hell in the cell 
Anyways, let me know in the comments below because I totally forgot. But he hasn't held the title in over a year, I believe. So I could see him winning, especially because it's his hometown. And, um, yeah. But Punk, he could win just because gaining momentum into, like, just because he's held the title for so long. I think they want him to go that year until Survivor Series, maybe. But, honestly, I, I see John Cena winning. Especially with that promo he cut at the end of Raw. It just makes sense. Like, he seems very focused and yeah but anyways that match wasn't getting built I wasn't looking forward to it until Monday and I think all of you guys can agree with me on that Sheamus and Del Rio I'm not really enjoying the build oh shoot I forgot a match I'm sorry Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler this is obviously not the main event this should be match of the night maybe uh, I see Dolph Ziggler again the win I see a good match and that was another match I was looking forward to. That match is getting built pretty well. Uh, Kane, Daniel Bryan, them two together are getting built pretty well. So, you have a decent show. There's three good matches that I'm definitely looking forward to that should pull out. So, yeah, guys, um, check it. Uh, go check it out. I'm going to be streaming it, and then I'll be, get, I'll be giving you guys a review right after the pay-per-view is over. Also, I'll... On, fuck, I can't talk. Sorry about that, guys. Huh. Um. But yeah, I'll be giving you guys a review on Once in a Lifetime Rock vs. Cena DVD. Uh, I've had it since the day it came out. I've been watching the promos and stuff, but I haven't had time to watch the main feature. I'll watch it tonight, and then I'll watch the rest tomorrow, and then I'll put up the video for you guys on Sunday. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on Sunday. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace.